Thank you. All right. I'd like to acknowledge and celebrate the first Australians on whose traditional lands we meet today and pay my respects to the elders of the Ngunnawal people, past and present. Hey, my name is Roland Brown, and my stage name is Dark Rose. I'm not a Ngunnawal man myself, but I was born up in Darwin, and I have a mixture of cultures, Torres Strait, Papuan, Aboriginal, and English. I spent my childhood growing up in between Darwin and Queensland, until eventually I moved down to Victoria. When I was 17 years old, I decided to move here to Canberra, and it was here I discovered my love for music. This year, I, I made it my New Year's resolution to learn how to play the didgeridoo. <laughs> so... <laughs> so I just simply took my instrument out onto the street and just started to busk, not really caring what people thought. And then people reacted okay, which was pretty cool. And then eventually, some, a few months later, somebody decided to steal my didgeridoo. That wasn't cool. But I still, just, I still wanted to play, and I remembered there was this modern instrument called a didgeribone. Um, put simply, a didgeribone, this instrument here, is a didgeridoo slash trombone put into the one thing. I just have to change the length of the, the instrument, and it changes the whole sound of the didgeridoo. It's really cool. But, and the man who invented it was Charlie McMahon. But to learn this was really difficult, because each length was like learning a whole new, whole new set of techniques, because each different note is like a different didge. So it was really hard. It was really difficult. <laughs> yeah, then people's reactions while I was busking on the street helped me to develop my own style. I watched people, and if they paid me, like, it, was, it was cool. I learned off them. And when I spiced the digital up with hip hop, big crowds started to form, and they gave me lots of coins which is all right. <laughs> and then they would stop and listen, record me. Then when I wasn't playing on point, people would often walk away, or sometimes I'd run. <laughs> I, now call my own, I now call my style of playing tramodinal. Traditional with a modern twist, tramodinal. <laughs> this is important to me because I want to I want to keep the didgeridoo music going. I don't want it to get lost. Um, traditional didgeridoo is used to tell stories. The rhythm is, is basically the traditional language spoken through the didgeridoo to make new songs. And this didgeridoo bone is helping, helping me to keep the song lines flowing and to preserve them for our future. I feel like it is my goal, honour and privilege to keep this part of my culture and music alive and sharing it with people like you today. Thank you.